Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if it's kind of echoing. Okay, cool. I, I'm sorry if it's echoey in here, but as you can see, I'm in a different filming location. I'm actually on vacation right now. I'm just kidding, it's not vacation. I'm here to work. I'm here at the AAU Nationals in Orlando. So um, yeah, that's why I am in like a little nice little bedroom. But yeah, but today's video is about how to find a volleyball club to play for. I always get a lot of comments about people asking like, Jacoby, how can I find a club? Or like, what should I look for? Or like, what if there's no clubs in my area, etc. So I'm gonna answer your questions. Before we get into the video, make sure that you give a big thumbs up. That really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below because I love chatting with you guys. So let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna define what a volleyball club is. So club volleyball is just like extracurricular volleyball or a summer league volleyball or like a spring volleyball league. So basically you have your regular school season which usually goes in the fall in most places. So during the off time, so during January basically through June, you can play club volleyball. So it's like a travel volleyball team that you can join during the off season to keep playing, practicing, getting your touches on the ball, or hang out with friends, whatever the reason is. Travel, whatever it is, um, that is a great way to go. So that's what club volleyball is. Basically it's just a travel team for volleyball. How old do you need to be to start club volleyball? Literally, you can be as young as like 10, around that age, and then uh, the age caps off of eight, at 18 because that's when you go to college, usually at that age, unless you like have a late birthday or an early birthday, whatever it is. Um, so that's how old you need to be. Next, you need to actually figure out what clubs are in your location. For example, in my location, let's use, um, let's use Atlanta as a, um, as an example, Atlanta has a bunch of different clubs. There's um, A5 Volleyball, there's Atlanta Extreme Volleyball, there's Tsunami Volleyball, there's Cobb Atlanta Volleyball, there's Rio Volleyball Club. Like there's so many freaking volleyball clubs around pretty much everywhere in the country because volleyball is such a popular sport and it's continuing to grow on, on the sand and indoor. So literally all you need to do is go on Google and search volleyball clubs near me and you will get results, I promise you. And if you say there's not one in your area, um, I would look a little bit a little bit outside of your perimeter. So maybe like 15 miles away or 20 miles away, whatever it is. Just really try to look and narrow down what's closest to you if you don't know one like off the top of your head. So that's the first step is even finding a club. Two is figuring out if it's gonna be a good fit for you or not. That's kind of a multifaceted kind of um, idea. So first of all, you need to go on their website and you need to figure out like, okay, like what are their core values? Um, I would look at their coaches. I would look on the coaching page and look at their credentials. Um, I would look at their past seasons, how they have performed, or is this their first season ever? Like you want to know those things. Like you want to know if you're going to an established club that's already been playing for years, or is it a new club that is like in its first or second year of um, operation? Those are really good things to know. Um, secondly, I would say like like I said, it's just to go co check out the coaches page because that's really big because you want to like you want to make sure that your coaches are like actually are qualified <laughs> i hate to say that but like it's true sometimes i people just hire volleyball coaches without any kind of good knowledge as a younger kid like i would look for um like a coach that's played at the college level or the division one level pro or has a bunch of years of experience at like a coaching college high school or club or whatever because that just kind of sets you up for more success in the end. Because if you think about it, if you're being coached by pro by an ex-professional player or an ex-division one player, you're getting all that knowledge. You're getting all that professional D1 knowledge. Next, I would um, look at the how the team has performed in the past. If they have any past records, go look at that. See if they're like a winning club or not. Not that that really matters, but it, I mean, if you want to know that, you can find it out. I would also look at the past teams, like um, see if you can look up on YouTube, like any other past games, so just see what their style of play is, how they can operate, like kind of what the vibe is. Next, I would definitely try to get a referral or like some kind of like word of mouth kind of opinion review from like a friend or 
maybe you know someone who plays volleyball at your school and they play for this club but one other girl plays for that club like literally you want to find out from the source so really like you can make all your initial judgments like oh yeah like cool like this oh this place looks nice but then you go ask them ask someone who actually goes there and be like yeah i hate it or they're like, oh my god, I love it. So you really want to find out from somebody who is already in it or has experienced it. But then again, take that with a grain of salt because everyone experiences things it, everyone experiences things differently. So you don't want to base your entire judgment off of someone's opinion, but it is good to know a well-rounded like kind of review of one club. Like once again, club is really just about what's best for you because at that point you're really just trying to advance yourself and your skills. So really like it doesn't really matter what club you play for. So I just say pick the one that's the best fit for you. Okay? For you. Not anyone else, you. If you don't like it, don't go. But if you love it, go. Another thing that people ask me about is like how to afford club. Um, Cause club volleyball is expensive. <laughs> it is so expensive for like no reason. I mean, it's a good reason, but a bad reason too. Cause it's like, uh, I would say all that knowledge, practice um, and exposure does come at a premium, which I agree with. Like that should cost money. But I do think it's a little exuberant. Like I do think it's a little over the top. Um, it's a little expensive, uh, especially if you some for some people who can't afford it, they could be really talented, but it sucks that they don't get the same opportunity as others because they can't afford it. So what some clubs do, I know, is that sometimes they have like a payment plan or they'll work with you or like maybe you can shag balls and I don't know, like dust the floors or whatever in exchange for like a free month or two. Like really, you just gotta, you just gotta go to the director and be like, okay, Here's my situation. I really want to be a part of this club. I love volleyball, like, and here's what I can do for you or whatever. Like, just provide, like, a solution instead of a problem. Oh, yeah, another good thing to look for in a club is if you fit in and not, like, oh, my God, I got to make myself fit in. Like, that's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is do you fit in, like, naturally? Like, that's amazing when that happens. Like, when everything just flows naturally, go with it. Like, it's so much fun when you're with your friends, your buddies, or people who you don't even know in the beginning, they become like lifelong friends. Like that is what club volleyball is to me. So literally, if it feels right, go for it. If you don't like it, don't do it. Like I've seen so many people who have played club and they they hated it. Like they hated playing volleyball. They did not want to be there. The only reason they were there is because their parents were forcing them. I would say have a conversation with your parents if that is you or if that's trending towards that kind of case because it's not fun then. Like, really, you're just there to have fun and get better. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it. Be on the lookout for a volleyball vlog on Friday because I'm here at a tournament, so you already know I'm vlogging it. Okay. T, my camera died. But, as I was saying, uh, follow me on Instagram at jacobys.sims, J-A-C-O-B-Y dot S-A-M-S, and my TikTok, same, same name. Um, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already, please, what are you waiting for, bestie? Subscribe. Like this video because that really helps me out, and leave a comment down below because I like talking to you guys in the comments. Alright, peace out. I love you. Check out my vloggy vlog channel at Jacoby Sims 2 T O O if you want to catch up on my life. I do vlog a lot on that channel, so go subscribe if you want to. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!